Mike, there is gold in Arizona. There is gold in Arizona. There is, there gold. is, there is. Gold. Earth Mike. Earth Mike. Hey, Sorry, Patty. Hey, I'm gonna go for more coffee. You want another cup? Uh, yeah, I'll take some. Uh, can you put some extra gold log with it this time? Oh, we can definitely add a little more gold log in there. Trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. Like okay, charging up. First cup of the day, probably one of many. Charging up all the gear here because I wanted to make sure I captured the story well. Captured the story. This, this is a story I've wanted to tell for years, for years, but it's, the story is only like five years old. This guy has only been finding gold for like the last five years. That's when he started, but he's just, he's just a very good prospector. I'll just leave it at that. You're gonna have to watch some of Arizona's biggest, biggest gold nuggets ever found. I'm gonna show you those today. Also hanging out with my buddy, Vendetta. Vendetta, big Arizona gold. Come on, what could get, what could get better? This is gonna be a really, really, Good day. Vendetta. <laughs> awesome. You bring the it's rain so with cool. you, Mikey? Ah, uh, I brought the rain, buddy. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna put my stuff in the back. Yeah. That works. Bags. Bags. We're out of here. Yes, I will step up into the truck. <laughs> okay, Mike's finding us a coffee spot. It does not have to be bougie. Bougie is a new word I learned this week. You learned that brand new, huh? <laughs> well, you're in a bougie truck a now, fly, too. Yeah, a very, very bougie <laughs> truck. And I had a flight attendant tell me, you know, something was, I think I ordered coffee with, the way I ordered the coffee was bougie coffee. How could you have ordered such a bougie drink on a plane? I don't know. No, 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 in the airport. Oh, okay. The airport. okay. I don't drink airplane coffee. Don't drink. <laughs> Don't drink airplane coffee. I'm serious. They, they actually have to like... Water it down a little? Or? No, they have to write those things up, like uh, maintenance them, like put them out of service because they don't pass the bacteria test. <laughs> don't drink the airplane coffee. Okay, how do you say that word, Mike? I'm going with this, this rito. 
Tesorito. 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 Welcome to How to Pronounce. In today's video, we'll be focusing on a new word that you might find challenging or intriguing. <laughs> so without further ado, let's dive into today's word. Desierto. Desierto. Which means Desierto. Desierto. dry, barren region. Let's say it all together. Desierto. Desierto. One more time. Desierto. Desierto. So in 1989, an amateur prospector in Mexico purchased an entry-level metal detector at the local radio shack. And then he ventured into the very forbidding Gran Desierto de Altar. It's a region in Mexico known to have gold. And for days he found nothing more than junk metal and nails. But keeping at it, one morning, he got a large signal from his metal detector and he unearthed the largest gold nugget ever found in the Western Hemisphere, the boot of Cortez. It weighed 389.4 troy ounces. But the Gran Desierto doesn't end at the Mexico border and the gold field extends into Arizona. And that's where the story continues today. We're going to meet a friend of mine and truthfully one of the most amazing gold prospectors I have ever met. And just north of the Gran Desierto is where this prospector has been focusing for the last four years. Okay, so the same rules kind of apply in this video that apply in a lot of the videos. Same with this prospector. He doesn't really want to be on camera, but this guy this guy's the most amazing prospector I've ever found for large gold nuggets in Arizona. And just, just what he's found in such a short amount of time. That's what's really, really cool about this story. It's, it's about technology because people have been over these areas before. He went back with the right metal detector, the skill, and just figured out, figured out researching where to find the gold nuggets. And this is what he found three and a half years, three and a half years of metal detecting on his weekends, on his weekends, weekend warrior. But this guy is, is just amazing. So he's a friend of mine now. This is his story and his gold, his gold is over at goldnuggetsales.com and goldnuggetsforsale.com. All the Arizona gold is this prospector's gold because it's just super rare, super rare to find. Jeez. <laughs> I found I found them four years apart, but two a hundred and twenty yards apart. Four years apart. Yeah. You found this. I've seen this one then. No, you've seen this one, the Diamondback. Oh, I didn't realize it was yeah. the other half of the Diamondback. Okay. Oh, that's that's some gold right there, yeah. buddy. <laughs> okay, now the story makes sense to me. Yeah, so I found out in the, like the end of December of night. 2019 and I just found this one a couple weeks ago yeah, but about 120 have. yards I from that one that far from it I think that vein was probably millions of years ago at probably 20 30 foot higher and it eroded down and and worked that way down that hill because it was on top of the mountains it wouldn't even work its way down into the washes yet mm. wow. so they're on top of the hills still wow but they per if you fit them together I mean oh, it's yeah. a it's a perfect fit you can tell you can see it yeah like when it goes together, it's perfect. Wow. So the Diamondback was once an 80 ounce, what it, 80? This is 61.5, this is 26 and a half. 87. 87. 80, 88. 88. 88. Yeah, so it fit, it'll fit together wow. just perfect. That. But I didn't even try to do that until I was, because I knew you were coming out, so I was cleaning this one because I've been touching it, and it was all my Grimy. greasy hands, it was yeah, all yeah. dirty. Yeah. And I was cleaning this, and I had them sitting there, and I was looking at this, <laughs> and I was looking at this. Wait a second. And I was like, hold on. And I kind of started putting them down, I was, I was like, whoa, no way. <laughs> and I did, the first time I put it together, I didn't even try a different, you know, yeah, a different spot to put it together, but I just knew it went together. Yeah. And this stuff yeah, just perfect, eroded over the top of these things and kind of rounded them off a little. Okay, flip it over so we can see what it looks like on the bottom together. Yep. Yep. I mean, the rock's going to yeah. etch away before the, the, gold, really, the yeah. gold, but yeah. There's a chunk, yeah, little chunk right missing. Here. Dang. 
100 yards apart for you four years apart <laughs> yeah. and this is one of the largest gold nuggets to ever be found in arizona yeah if you turn it sideways there's the diamond there's a little eye right here and a oh, yeah. mouth yeah and then there's a kind of a the top of a rattlesnake head yeah that is totally the diamond back and it's fitting for arizona <laughs> yes heck yeah <laughs> heck yeah okay i asked i asked guy here if he could we're saying that right yeah i asked guy here if he would kind of just show us what it sounds like for the gold you want to hear that drop off and he explains it really well Pressure's on. Yeah. Target. <laughs> Found it. That's what 99% of the targets are. Little piece of wire? Little piece of metal. Little piece of metal. Yeah. Wow. And that thing just kept moving around on us. Yeah. Good find. And that's where it goes, right there in the metal pocket. In the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Into the bucket. You found all this looking for gold. Yeah. Oh, that's an old plate. Look at that. Oh, no. All of these. Yeah, pickaxes. And I think they use these things for, like, cleaning cracks, cracks. or something. Man, that's they, an old file, eh? I don't know what they... And this is probably maybe in the 20s, not in the... Because they, they worked that stuff in the early, yeah, yeah, but they worked it way, way back too. Right. Man, I don't even know what the hell this is for. That was an old doorknob locking. Mm -hmm. For like a cabin or something they were living in? Yeah, a little shack. Yeah. That's off an old Model 8 or something. I don't know. Yeah, them big nuggets sound like these guys right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Horseshoes. Yep. Yeah. That's just more... Nails oh, and no, wire. this is like a one day maybe of digging targets. <laughs> so you see all the bullets yep. and tin and yep. there's an old 45 long colt. Junk from and the shells. desert. Old and yeah. Just nails, a lot of boot tacks. I mean, bullets. there's a screw and light bulb. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 100, 100 targets per piece. Huh? And there's a oh, look at that old oh, timer man. wore that shovel out, didn't he? <laughs> you got all the money out of that thing. And then look at that. Look at that old. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, I thought yeah. that I thought that was the biggest nugget in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he used it as a hammer quite a bit. And look at this. I think that's what one of those. So when all the pieces of the puzzle come together, the new technology and metal detectors, researching on exactly where to go and knowing what to look for. Add to that a very ambitious, smart, and driven prospector. You have all the pieces to find the gold. A lot of gold. This one's called the bowling ball. <laughs> it is a bowling ball. <laughs> The carts that it's in it don't even seem like it should have gold in it. Yeah. It's just light. This is pretty dang heavy too. Yeah. <laughs> That's all connected, right? You told me. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. When you do, but it, it, I don't think it goes down. No, into no. The rock, yeah. So. It's. Probably you would see do. some protruding out here, but it, you, you do see some like coming down into here, and then, but I know that thing would be way heavier. If there's, yeah. <laughs> all of this yeah. found since you and I talked. Year and a half ago. Yeah, because I got rid of all my yeah. stuff to you. Yeah, once. the rest of rest of what you have is on consignment. Yeah. I'm amazed that this is what you found yeah, the last year. Jeez, jeez, champ's been busy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This is cool. It's found along with that one. Okay. Straight down from. It. Wow. That, Little end of it. Yeah, that. I think that was 58 grams. So 87. This is 58. Yeah. I found a. So we're at 89. Um, if all three of those were together, we're at 89, aren't we? Oh, yeah, if they're. Heck yeah. It's just a 
but I just have them in bags. Nice. Oh my God. So, but you can take any of them out and kind of look at them. This is a four ouncer. But it looks like a lizard. Yeah, that is pretty. You see how it's turning away from me? It does. Yeah, like There's a little gecko. Eye, and it's kind of turning away from me. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was kind of neat. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's a pretty piece. Yes, it is. That's a gorgeous piece. I found that one on Valentine's Day of like last year. And I thought, man, I found a heart. On yeah. Day. <laughs> it's even red. <laughs> Look at that one. Look at the character on that one. That's a, like a 6.7 ounce I found right out of a wash. Just up on the hill of it? Just, yeah, there's some bedrock coming out. About that by out of a wash, maybe about 30. I mean, this wash is only this wide. Sure. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. And it was just coming up over the hill, and I just put my detector over it like that, and it screamed Woo! like a horseshoe. Yeah. Gonna I mean, yeah. Trash, oh, I another gotta... can. Yeah. No. Nope. I love that can. <laughs> 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 Dang. Mike, is this the most gold you've ever had on the back of your truck bed? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, a good thing it ain't too hot or it might just get stuck to the truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this, my, the bed doesn't usually melt like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why can I pick this one because of the gold lid? Oh, that's a bad omen. What's that mean? That means there's gold in the ground. <laughs> What's that mean? It means someone's just got to get their pocket knife. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Isn't it supposed to pop out? Oh, uh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> get your pocket knife instead. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't have a cork opener out yeah. here? Come on. You might actually. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Okay, that's good. Give me the first one. I'll... How did you not get any cork in there? Oh, there's some That's in impressive. There. Really? Oh, <laughs> give me the first glass. <laughs> Rinse the cork out. That was pretty good. Hey. Cheers. All right. One more. Cheers. 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 Tink, tink, tink. tink. To the gold vlog. <laughs> to uh, gold vlog, to amazing gold letting me come out here and film it, guy. Uh, Mike, pleasure, man. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks to the gold gods. Yeah. Yes. Thanks to the gold gods. Mike, you got to hit record if you're going to do a yeah, sign Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike's teaching me how to use the camera. Amazingly so. Truthfully, last night he had to show me how to get the flash off. But, all right, a little gold and whiskey out in this beautiful area of Arizona. So glad we got to make this vlog. It's been on the bucket list forever. All this gold is going to be... Yeah, check mark, check that, mark box. that off. All this gold is over... Not all of it. The big ones, you know, he's keeping. But all of his gold, all of his finds from this area, you can find them over at goldnuggetsforsale.com and goldnuggetsales.com. Yes. The one and I'm, only Mike I'm, from I'm, the Gold Log. I'm always going to plug the gold a little bit at the end. You Just know that. Just a little bit. You know that. So but go find yourself a piece of Arizona gold. It's all over there on both those websites. Check it out. Mike, pleasure, man. Always. Brother, Down in awesome. Arizona. Yeah. No, Thanks sir. for hanging out. Yeah. All right. That whiskey warmed us up. All right, we're going to leave it there. We're a little bit warmer. We're a little bit warmer. We're going to leave it there, right? Yeah. We're going to be well, be safe. See you in the next episode. Sweet, Mike. Golden Arizona, right, Mike? A little bit. <laughs> oh. Champ, done it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. There's Champ. Champ's awesome. Mike named my detector, so. Uh, did he? Yeah. It's all marketing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a lie. So, I, I asked. Give, give him credit now. Yeah. First time I first time <laughs> I saw you. Yeah. First time. Yeah. First time I saw you, I was like, "Does this detector have a name?" You're like, "Yeah, GPC 7000." Like, no, no. <laughs> no, it's, it's new name is Champ. <laughs> Three and a half years. He's worth way more than his weight in gold. Ooh.
Now, if I were to sell that one today, I'd probably sell it for a hundred thousand dollars. It's got historical value. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah, it does. <laughs> and evidence in the back, of it, yeah. Heck yeah. That thing's found so much gold. Oh, it's all broke up. It's just barely hanging in there. You know what? It keeps coming. <laughs> it, it, it belongs yeah. in a museum. Yeah. Right next to that bowling ball. Yeah. <laughs> right next to the bowling ball. Exactly. Yeah.